player with a heavy heart and played with the great father of the grass, Mr. Bill Monroe. We're standing here, Bill Monroe's mother and daddy's bedroom, the very spot where bluegrass music, I think, was born. Bill Monroe sat right there with a stew, with a bass fiddle, is standing right now. Bill sat in a chair there. Uncle Penny sat right here. This is according to Bill's own words. The first time he ever heard his Uncle Penny, he was about eight or nine years old. Penn sat there and Bill sat there. This is where the music started. And you're standing right in between them, where you should be, between the great Uncle Penn and Bill Monroe. Great to have you back. I'm going to call our special guest up here tonight from the big high mountains of Virginia. White up here to do some talking. Yeah, yeah, I'm from the great state of Virginia. White top, white top mountains. Well, keep thinking about the groundhog. Now we're going to think about the dogs. You know, I raised dogs. I raised American Grid Black and Dan. And I like my black dogs. And we're going to sing a song about a black dog. It's called the Chattanooga Dog.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Uh, folks, we're standing in the most beautiful house in America, and I tell you, we can't stop talking about music. You know, the guys behind us out here are all excited and talking about what this man does here. He's a guitar builder. He's a fox hunter. He's a farmer. He's a coon hunter. He's a banjo maker. He, yeah, he, he made me my first banjo that I ever owned, a good one. He made it. A little big feller, and I got it from and the tone ring in it was made from uh, Teddy, uh, Teddy Roosevelt's faucets in the White House and melted them down. And I made a tone ring out of it. And he's just talking to the club here and helping to get you. I know you and Robert were talking about some shiny stuff. About guitar? Yeah, you, you make guitars. Well, I'm going to see you. What's uh, special about yours? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, the best Martin guitars that ever made was 19, from 1934 to 39. They used a rich spruce top, Brazilian wood, on the back and sides. And the, the, the main thing to get the sound out of a guitar is the way it's braced inside. You can't brace it with two to four to get the sound out of it. You've got to, you've got to, uh, 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 you, the X brace from one inch, one inch from the sound hole, and then the skull, the, uh, the, the X brace and the, the bass and cover bar. And uh, that's how you get your good sound. But the best Martin was ever made from 34 to 39. Uh, pre, they call it uh, pre-39. You know, right. so uh, but I have I, I have enough wood to build twenty some, and I had I, I, some already in stock, but I bought about eight grand worth here about three or four months ago. Or for one. Oh well, I, I might let yeah. you have I might let you have one set, uh, cut it out for you. You know, I, I leave it in big ch in chunks if you saw it out. Uh, if I was work on it, laying around, you know what I mean? Well, make the whole guitar, don't just give them a slab of wood. Oh, well, I think you want the whole guitar. I want the whole guitar. Well, whatever yeah. I can get. I'll take what I can get. Add on that tree. Yeah, I, I, I have um, four four nice old tops and up in my closet. I have two Alarandite, which is a red spruce, frozen. Alarandite, New York. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be that wrong there. It, 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 no distortion, no distortion. No distortion. And I think it grows in the, in the Smoky Mountains of North Carolina. Uh, the only two places in the world, I think, it grows. North uh, Carolina? Uh, yeah, right, right there, right there, uh, uh, around Asheville. So they had it on there in Spruce, but it grows in North Carolina. Uh, both places. Oh, both places, all right. And it's all high, right. it's, it's cold there, it's cold, and it grows Please. real slow, yeah. and, 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 and it grows tight as rain. But there's no distortion to it. That's, that's the best pop in the world. Man. And I've got some of them. I sure do. All right. I can't tell you how I got them, but I got them. All right. You know. So, I never did figure out how you get Teddy Roosevelt Fawcett yeah. there. Like I told me. Let's tell us what we're going to play here now. So then we're going to play a great band thing. One called Crossing the Summit. Crossing the Summit. <laughs>
law passed, though. I, yeah, I think you need to tell that story about when you used to work with Frank and Jesse before yes, you met Al. Al saved you, you know. All right. Can you do that? You'll be right back, folks. Hi, folks. I'm Alex Leach, host of the Bluegrass Special on WDVX in Knoxville, Tennessee. And from the home place of Bill Monroe, high top Jerusalem Ridge in Rosie, Kentucky, you're watching Crossing the Cumberland. Hi, it's Campbell Merch, the host of the Cumberland Highlander Show. We're standing here in a Bill Monroe's home place. Bluegrass music is born. This next song is not exactly a bluegrass song, but it's done by a pure bluegrass man, man from the mountains of eastern Kentucky. And I tell you what it does, it just brings tears to your eyes, the beauty of the, of the song, the melody, the chords, and, and, the, and I think it's... Uh, Exemplifies your high lead singing better than any song you've ever done. It really makes you shine. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. This, this is really a true story about when you worked with Frank and Jesse. Yes, sir. When uh, I worked with Frank and Jesse. Uh, the, and the Virginia Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Jim and Jesse. It's Frank and Jesse, the Virginia Boys. Yes. Frank and Jesse James. Good luck, dude. I heard about the wild 